Welcome back to the second part of creating a countdown in After Effects. Now write open parenthesis, close parenthesis, because we're going to do some mathematical operations and we need to keep them in order. So that's 100. Since we need to go from 100 to 0, we do 100 minus. And then we use a, a mathematical function, which is math capital M math that round then open and close parenthesis T divided by this comp that duration and then multiply that by 100 now to make this more clear Let's put this between parentheses. So we first divide the T divided by the duration of the comp and then multiply by 100 to get the percent. If you know something about math, you know, you know, you need to divide the part by the total and then multiply by 100 to get the percent. And now we need to multiply by the duration of the comp this comp that duration are to be all now let's see if it's working right So it's working. So we've done a pretty good job. Now, nah, but that is too dark, right? It's too dark. We can't see it through. We have to lower the opacity. So click. Click on the shape layer and then click T and then increase the opacity to like that. Right. It looks better. But now we need to change the text to to change dynamically too because we don't have we don't want to have five layers of text one with five then four then three then two then one we don't want to have that and also if you have a larger composition where you want to do a countdown from ten to zero or from ten to one. You don't want to have 10 layers of text so let's do it dynamically we like dynamic things right so expand the text layer and click on text then we we'll see here we have source text click alt on the keyboard then press the stopwatch and now we should see something appear so if you think about it it's easy we just find the absolute value of the difference between the current time and the total time. I'm going to show you right away. We're going to use this function, which is a function built in into the system. Right, math with capital M. That ABS, which is the absolute value of a number. The absolute value is the positive number or the distance from zero to the number so if it's negative one the absolute value is one for those of you who don't know and then absolute value abs open and close parenthesis then time minus this comp oh sorry comp with capital m this comp that duration Now we are getting there, but that's not what we want. We want a whole number, we don't want a decimal numbers, we just want an integer. And we do that by using another function built in, which is which takes a decimal number and converts it into an integer. 
so we do that by doing the function is parse then int with capital I int open parenthesis and close parenthesis at the end so five four three two one zero now that's not what we want because we don't want to show up zero and we certainly don't want to change from five to four in less than a second so and we do that by parsing the time as an int two so we do parse end with capital T open and close parentheses just for the time right and now we should get the right result you see five four three two one and everything is fine so we got it right <clears throat> once again the function is this one And the logic behind the function is the absolute value of the difference between the current time and the duration and also let me show you one thing if we take out the absolute value function it's gonna give you negative values you see negative one then negative two negative three negative four and negative five we certainly don't want to have negative numbers there i hope that you get now the idea of what i was trying to to show you so we undo this by going to edit undo edit expression so let's preview this Oh, so it's now we're almost complete because just need little things we have little things left we almost have this completed what we need to do now is add more cosmetics to it to make it look older and we also need to do some other cool stuff let's do another composition let's take the countdown composition and drop it on the new comp button to make a new composition and it's gonna make a composition with um, the countdown composition inside and we're gonna rename this composition final because this one is going to be the final composition that we are going to render out to rename it click on the composition then enter click the enter button on the keyboard and rename it to final now here we are going to do some cool stuff we are going to use the CC repo tile and we are going to apply it to this comp. That's because we need to do the scrolling of the film across the screen and we need to have more film on the right because we are going to do it from right to left. We are going to expand right the effect. So you, you see there, uh, 148 pixels, 148 pixels, we actually need more of that. This concludes the second part of the tutorial series of creating a countdown in After Effects. In the next part, we're going to continue working with the expressions and we are going to take care of the movement of the countdown from right to left. So keep tuned for the next tutorial.